Okay, Thursday morning in the kingdom, and it's Thursday, the long weekend, because tomorrow's Good Friday. Yes, we'll have a drink to that. All right, this morning we woke up to minus 19 Celsius, but feels like minus 26. I'm taking a risk with no Grinch gloves. Yes, and on the yo-yo scale, lay mass minus 2 Fahrenheit, but feels like minus 15. Yes, that's a lot better. And Johnny emailed late last night because he was probably cuddling on the couch and to say that the beer will be delivered on Saturday. So I have to pace myself to make it till Saturday to get a fresh case of beer. Unreal. But Johnny's a company man. Yes, Johnny G. And he'll be delivering on Saturday. Also, too. Yes, in this pocket here. Oh, you can see my breath. That's how chilly it is. <sighs> Crest fresh. No, it's not. It's uh, Colgate. Yes, classic. All right. My new drinking buddy, Sir Rodney, brought this back from Hawaii. See Hawaii spelled uh, down in the bottom there? It's spelled correctly? Yes. All right. So that's my new drinking buddy to try and get over this cold. He's a little Charmin or voodoo doll or whatever it is. It'll get that nasty spirit of the cold and flu out of my body. Yes, if Jack Daniels or Titty Vodka can't do it, this little fellow will. Yes, anything to have a drink? All right. Let's check on the sun, because you can see it's bright. <laughs> and of course, the ex-wives are in the background there, yakking away. Yes, the ravens. Look at that. I got talent. I found the sun. Covered it with my big head. Oh, and my nose. Look at that. An outstanding feature. All right, so over here, we have the screaming Ford plugged in. After a month of sitting in the middle of the yard, we're going to move it. Yes, we're going to move it. Oh, that was a song on Madagascar, the cartoon. Yes, move it, move it. Yes, that was good. All right, the flags are untangled. They're ready for a day of stress and getting tangled up. And then over here, the wood stove smoldered all night. So I opened the door and it started the fire again. So I saved some accelerants from getting having to get it started. The Swedish kid will be pleased with me. All right, we better get the me phone back in before I lose my voice. And the me phone censors me because it got cold. Well, we better go. Here comes the boss. Thursday morning in Hooville. It's just after 9.30 a.m. and I got the skidoo out. Now I'm going to head up into Hooville and go do some shopping. I have to go to a couple places, so I better start now. The store doesn't open till 10, but there's another store that opens now, so I can go up and grab some things. Almost 10 a.m. and I just got back from shopping. They had ribs at the store here for $20 a pack. You can actually see it here. This is $19.99. This one here is $16.99 because it's a little smaller. But I bought all five packs and it was like $97. So that's pretty good. We'll have ribs for the next little while. 10.30, I just made it back from shopping for four bags and two water jugs. It was $200. All that bread on the top of my pile here was 99 cents. I got about 13 loaves because it was expired by a couple days. I actually found it on the back of the shelf. They didn't even know it was there. They just put new bread on top of it. Plus, I got a bunch of sale stuff in this bag as well, like vegetables and stuff. Now it's time to haul all this inside. 11 a.m. and I just finished putting everything away. All the stuff with the 50% sign on it was all on sale. I think I did pretty good. Saved about $40 with everything on sale, including the bread. Also grabbed a ham that will go in the freezer. I think $33.50 was a pretty good price. And it's also my little helper's birthday next week, so we got him a cake as well. Now let's put all this stuff away. 2 p.m. and I just let the dogs back in. It is pretty warm out here today. Now it's time to head up and do mail and then I'll go over to the kingdom and see what my dad's up to. I'm pretty sure we're moving the screaming Ford today, but I guess I'll find out when I get there. Just after 2 p.m. and I made it to the kingdom. Looks like there was a package in the mail and I opened it. Look what was inside. A nice pair of slippers for my dad. Hopefully he fits them. If not, I will get them for sure. Thank you so much, Benjamin C. This is greatly appreciated. We weren't expecting this. Wow, they do look comfortable though. Thank you so much. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom, we're just waiting for the staff to show up sober. Maybe she's going to pick up a case of beer. I don't know what she's doing. All right, but we got everything going to start up here, and we're ready for the party. Yes, over here, I put the hitch on the front of the little Laverne. Yes, the hitch. All right, so we need the hitch to back the trailer up, because at my age, I'm not looking over my shoulder. It's going to be a tight thing, so put it on the front and hope for the best. 2.30 and I just got down to the shop. Looks like my dad got the screaming Ford out himself and aired it up and did all the stuff. He's ready to move it back into the new shop. He actually got a little bit on the camera so he'll have to insert a little video 
for you there. But now I'll head on over and see if he's ready to move the green toy so we can get stuff rolling. Okay, here I am after lunch getting the screaming forward up and running. All right. So I'll do this voiceover thing here with my voice. There we got the engine, oh, the hood open, checking the oil. There we go, boom, boom, off she goes. All right, so I got it sped up to 16 times the speed of sound, okay? So there we are putting air in the tire at the back. Okay, got to get the glare just right here. Okay, so while we're letting the screaming Ford warm up and build air pressure, we're putting air in the tire. Plus I moved the 45 Chevy three ton out of the way. So I come by, check the tire, okay? and i should return here right away i'm not sure where i went i just previewed this video but i'm trying to remember what i did oh there we go hook the 39 up okay the thing is we're bombing around the yard or driving around the yard and not getting stuck figure that out so i gotta hook up the water trailer to it which is not that easy because i don't know the ground's uneven everything like that and i'm back and forth to the 45. yes the 45 is sitting there idling and running that way to get the motor lubed up and everything the screaming ford is running away or running and airing up the tire while i uh parked the 39 and then i shut the 45 off and then i should come back to the screaming ford yes here we go so now the air is in the tire we're going to roll up the hose yes use the air on the screaming ford don't have to take it from the shop and then i go wandering around i don't know where i went i think i do come back i do come back i have to come back because i'm going to move the truck and we did record it because I'm trying to get the brake off. Okay, here we are. Get the hammer out. I'm crawled underneath. I'm beating on the brake drum like a true ice road trucker. Okay, so now I get in the cab. I'm going to see if there's brake. Oh, look at that. I backed up, no problem. And then I went forward. Look at that. Talk about fun. Got the green toy started. Now my dad's going to move it out of the way. Pretty sure he's just parking it over here by the hose shack for now. And then we can move it later. Got the screaming floor moved out of the way and now my dad has a cat start and we're going to move this trailer back into the new shop since we don't need it right now and then we can back the screaming forward in hopefully it doesn't get stuck.
3 p.m. My dad's officially done with the cat. Now he'll go park it up on the hill beside the house and then we can get the screaming Ford running and back it into the new shop. Had no problem getting the screaming forward into the new shop, figured we'd get stuck and that's why we have the winch on the back because we were just going to winch it back into the new shop here, but we got lucky even with it being this warm, we were still able to back it in no problem, not sure how we did it but we were. Over here we kind of have the ruts and stuff on either side and you can kind of see where my dad started sinking in but we were able to saddle the rut and get it into the new shop no problem. Just after 3 p.m. and now my dad's going to move the green toy back into its spot right here and then we have to move this truck as well back over in front of the screaming Ford then we can fill up the wagon and the wheelbarrow and see what else we're doing. thirty I'm officially done in the kingdom. My dad tried on these slippers and they do not fit him. He is a size twelve men's and these are size ten men, so they're a little small, so it looks like I get some new house slippers. Now it's time to grab my dog treats and head on back into Whoville. Just after three thirty and I made home from the kingdom. Now it's time to put the skidoo away and let the dogs out, and then I think I'm gonna lay down for a little bit and do the weather closer to five. 
5 p.m. and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative 4 degrees Celsius, which is 24 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been pretty warm out today. I was sweating in my skidoo suit, but it doesn't help that I'm still pretty sick. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make supper, and end my day. Okay, we're a little short on the film footage because the Screaming Ford did not get stuck and we were able to turn that trailer around and back it in no problems. And real how successful today was. And I also brought in the uh, pants or the cloth or materials from the bottom of the hose shack doors because they're frozen and not much uh, flexibility. So thaw them by the wood stove. I have my wood cut for tonight and in the morning so it's good to go. So what we'll do here is we'll chat about the TD-18 known as Dooley, okay? As you can see, I've stripped it pretty good. But also, too, on over here, all right, I have all my new parts ready to go. And my list. Yes, we have the new temperature gauge. We have to set the, uh, set the valves and everything. And those are the old thermostats out of the other TD-18 known as Blaine. Okay, so over here... We've changed a lot on this cat. Oh, that sun is bright. The fuel filters that were over there, they're too hard to get. Yes, so we went to a inline style, which is common dime a dozen. I think they're the same fuel filters we use on the 922. And then I think it was 2023 or, yeah, 2023 or 2022, we upgraded to the electric fuel pump, which really helps out. Okay, so there's different styles of the TD-18. Some of them have the high or long oil filters and some have the short ones some of them have the two filters back here or some of them have one filter okay so blaine has the one filter this motor came out of ego it's basically fairly complete uh we haven't really done anything to it but we just got to get it to run warmer because it's not running warm enough okay i had to stop for a sneeze there but as you can see on blaine the tracks come right out okay and this one here is a true winter freighting cat. It has a history of winter freighting. It came from Ilford, Manitoba, where winter freighting was popular. It's a shorter track, which makes it a hell of a lot easier to get in between here and to work on the motor. Blaine makes it a lot harder being a long track. And that's what thing we're going to do this summer is shorten the tracks up because we want the overhang on the front, just like the old, the old timers had when they were winter freighting. And it's basically reminds you of those international 4x4 tractors with the big overhang for weight distribution and stuff like that. So here they were thinking about this back in the 40s. And then I think it was the late 70s or early 80s they came out with that overhang on the front wheel drive. Four wheel drive tractors. Yes, the big overhang. So over here, I had to take this manifold off, okay, to get a, the water jacket elbows out. So I decided if I'm taking this off, this cat will no longer be a gas start. It's pointless. The gas gets into the diesel when it's running. It'll destroy the engine or the heads like it did on Blaine. So I made my cover plate for the uh, carburetor. Yes, this is upside down. Okay. Ooh, something sliding off the roof there. Okay. So I went to the shed, found the old spark plugs. You never throw anything out. So all the broken ones and everything went in. And the brand new ones that really had never been used are in a bag. The wires can be used on other cats and then the anything for electrical to show that the uh, ignition was on for starting that goes all into the parts shed to be reused again the carburetor's taken off and marked and we took the distributor out yes we had to make a fancy little plug for in here but that's no problem that was only a one beer job because there's no sense having a distributor sitting there turning around and around in circles and plus if we take this cat swimming that's where the water is going into the motor Having a cover plate blocked off makes more sense. We even took the gas tank off. Yes, because we don't need that. And also, too, we were busy yesterday and we got the new flagpole ready to go because we have a gifted flag arriving according to Amazon. All right. Okay, I had to stop and cough my lungs out. All right. Okay, over here, for some reason, Dooley had one rad hose on here, which is not good because it hangs down and it sags and it's got suction. These hoses are over 20 years old, so I went and found the pipe off at one of the TD-18s we, how would you say, made a parts cat out of. So we're going to put the pipe in, clean everything up. We even have the new one for over here, and that's the air intake. So let's walk over here. And also, too, we have everything laid out for the 40, 38 Maple Leaf truck. We'll be talking about that in another video. So that way I don't get confused, because these videos are my memory, okay? So when I lose my mind and I forget where I am, I can watch the video to know what I'm working on, right? Smart thinking. 
All right, so that's why we like when Sir Rodney and Paul send us stuff from the great, uh, from the south to the great white north, better known as Wilderness, Alaska. But in northern Manitoba, we get the cardboard. So that's where our winter fronts come from. That's why we like it when the cardboard doesn't get destroyed because it'll look good when we have it on the winter front over here. Yesterday, Blaine looked pretty good with his new winter front on. Yes, all right. So that's why we like everything, recycle, repurpose, and reuse. It's kind of different not having the promo bike in the shop. Okay, so over here, we've been cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. Oh, watch the shop. All right, so we have everything laid out. This is Dooley's thermostats and everything like that. And his pieces and everything's ready to go. We have all the templates we used on Blaine. There's the replacement ones for Blaine. Okay, so this is the circulating pipe here. Uh, okay, so here we have this size here. All right. So... I watched Sesame Street this morning and see that little slit down in there. To me, four of those slits, because two of these thermostats, there's two slits per thermostat. See that? So you see that last Nesman? All right. So four of those slits, that's not even a quarter of a pipe. So a quarter of this pipe on this side over here, okay, that's all that they're using for circulating. So that's why these engines act weird and overheat and crack their heads because they're having hot spots. The whole idea, the engineers at IH figured out that this is the diameter pipe. This is the amount of gallons per minute flowing through this pipe from the water pump to keep that engine cool. So their thermostats in the parts book show big holes in the sides here. Okay. These modern upgrades are, are uh, new old stock, no, 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 part store ones, you know. They are causing the problem. So I took me 20 years or more to figure it out. And I'm glad I spent the winter. So we did all the IH small cats. Now we figured out the TD-18. So now, yesterday when we went out with Blaine, we had this whole pipe here, uh, how would you say, pumping warm, hot water from the cylinder heads. Okay, I survived that coughing spree. To, okay, let's try again. One more video and we should be done. So this makes more sense, taking time and figuring it out. But the thing is, is I'm learning, everybody's learning. And that's the thing is, is you got to sit down and figure these things out. So yesterday, Blaine, with this pipe full of, how would you say, hot water, cooling and circulating the engine or the motor, it kept it a lot nicer. That thing was better. I've never seen it like that. You never see hot spots on the side of the engine, especially with these heads being torqued down and reused with the gasket goo that you see the gasket goo getting hot in certain spots. So you're going like, what the hell? Maybe I didn't tighten the head and that bolts enough. But now yesterday things ran good. Put your hand on this. It was hot and it was kind of even temperatures on the thing. We don't believe in the heat gun or anything like that, but you could tell big difference. So it was well worth it. So let's get this one done tomorrow, but we also have plans tomorrow because we have to put up that flag. Yes, the flagpole. We want to do it while it's still a nice day. Okay, we're done for the day. We cannot believe it. Nothing got stuck. The 39 Chevy was moving around the yard, hooked on the water trailer, backed over all around uneven ground. The 45 Chevy 3-ton with the dual wheels, no weight on it because we shoveled the snow up, propelled itself forward and then backed up with no problems. The screaming Ford backed out. Okay, amazing. I drove out, I thought, trying to get the brake uh, frozen off or whatever. And I drove out and then I backed right in there on freaking real. And then even the green toy started and drove out no problem. But he's all chained up. But he's got a broken tire chain on the front. That's a little drama. We'll have to fix that. That's what happens when you have too much beverage. All right, over here, the dogs are just watching me because it's almost summer to them. And they can be out enjoying the bugs. All right, I just put some wood in the stove. It hasn't ignited yet. Oh, this yard's nice and roomy now. So now we can get the sleighs out and have some fun. And there's the sun over here. Yes, it's way up there. That's strange. How did it get up there? It's usually just above the trees over here. All right, there's the flags. Everybody's looking good. All right, let's go drink some beer, walk the dogs, and make a video. Talk to you later.